Up a lazy river where the old mill ran Meets the lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of what's happening welcome to the channel my name is kevon the golden and today everybody we will be watching house of the dragon season two episode three this has been an amazing season so far also including with the first season it's been hit after hit after hit but i think last episode was one of the best episodes in my opinion i just Finally come to understand and love the character of Otto Hightower. If you read the books, you already kind of start off in the jump not trusting the guy. That's kind of like a fault of reading the books. Like you already know some of the plot lines or some of the characteristics of these people. But this show, man, good guy. Um, they really took that character and made it and expanded on it and made me love him. Because if you like the grains to the blast, yada, yada. But on the grain side, you got to admit, it's some goofy people on that side. You got Aegon, who is an R word, is, um, just want to hang out and drink with his friends all day. Um, you got Helena. We love Helena, but not built for politics. I just put it like that. Not built for politics at all. Um, you got Sir Christian Cole, who is a straight up goofball jamal cornball type of dude <laughs> but you also have otto who is trying his hardest he tried he tried so hard to ring all these dummies in and try try to rule this realm without a war it was like otto knew war was coming eventually but as he stated this is not part of his plans he did not plan for his grandson to act like an idiot but let's see what these idiots get into this week um also my favorite character damon you should know damon is my favorite character <laughs> like come on <laughs> but yeah my favorite character damon he has Got into a little disagreement, a little small, tiny argument with his wife. And best, what's best for the both of them is Damon effing off to hair and all. And that's pretty much, I believe, what we're going to see this episode. I've been waiting on this. Um, hair and Hall is one of Damon's best and biggest like accomplishments during the war, him taking hair and Hall. And hopefully this episode we get to see some of the things that happened during him conquering Heron Hall and things like that. Like how did he get into the castle? How did he take the castle? Did he show up with a lot of troops or he just take it by himself with his dragon? Hey, we don't know. It's time to find out the troops. But other than that, if you want to watch this full uncut reaction, go on here and subscribe to my Patreon. The link should be in the description below. It's only $5, ladies and gentlemen. Enough being said, let's jump into this new episode. It started with A. God did his weak ass on the A's. Then A. the crew was stirred. Then along came Jerry, so that was saying. Damon for to be back on this bullshit. It's war time. Looks riverlandish. Must be my soul. You can get that thing up. Well enough for killing Blackwoods. <laughs> oh my God! Some Blackwood and Bracket B. Bracket cows can fill their belly. That was the test. <laughs> fuck! Fuck you. This is our land. Fuck you, me. What y'all gonna do about it? It's Bracket. Get him, bloody bear. What did you say? Your false queen, Rhaenyra, is a kinslayer. Aegon Targaryen is no true king. You're both raven. I already know it's that. I'm, I'm black woods. I die. What do you mean? You don't do it with that little sword. Come on, swing it. You're mad. Swing it. You go up and swing it. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. 
You know you got the heart, you coward. <laughs> Oh, is this after the battle of the burning meal? Oh my. Oh, I wish they could have shown this battle. This battle was so just bloody and just unnecessary. <laughs> oh, it's this corpse. Bodies on bodies. R.I.P. R.I.P. the twins. Sir Eddie and Sir Eddie. What of those who sent him? Like, come on, mom, you gotta get a little revenge, nah? Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Or when Eamon killed Luke? Or when Luke took Eamon's eye? We teeter now at the point where none of it will matter. Just a cycle of violence. They died because of you, whole question. Ain't no sir no more. You whole question. Oh, they didn't raise the green banners with the golden, most beautiful dragon of the world, Sunfire the Golden. Kingsguard. What? What? How? How did y'all become Kingsguard? Y'all sitting on y'all ass. Y'all are king's guard. What are y'all guarding? Y'all sitting on your ass. Perhaps your grace, but we cannot all hide in our castles waiting for war to come to us. As now it surely will. As now. Oh, they finna go out on house. campaign, baby. <laughs> house Bra the Blackwoods and the Brackens have feuded for centuries. This is nothing more than an excuse for them to indulge their ancient grudge. It's not true. Basically, this ain't nothing but an excuse for them to get down. Call it what Lord Grover Tully is. A flaccid old fool who can control his cock and a curly. <laughs> Do you have any better suggestions, Lord Jasper? Coming from you, all right? Should we not aim to unite these armies and then strike as one? <laughs> ah, the great military mind of the Citadel. Do I remind me which link in your chain denotes the art of war. She said, I was sitting at the table with idiots. Harold Hall is the key to the Riverlands. The Riverlands will be the last place on the world of that universe I would want to live. Anytime somebody want to do a war, y'all come bring that shit to the Riverlands. Take that to y'all own home. I'm as fearsome as any of them. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, eh, girl? Your grace. I've decided to send Joffrey. This ain't Raina in the men. That's ain't Raina since the funeral. Lady Jane Aram. Egon and Viserys will accompany him until a place of greater safety can be found. Taraxes is but a hatchling. And Stormcloud. I want you to go with them. You must take the little ones further. To Pentos, I think. When my mother died. It is safer than anywhere in Westeros. I'm sorry to put this upon you. It breaks my heart to send my boys away. Raina. I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. Oh, that's a lot to ask for. Them, train them. And my sister? I need Bailey here. Because she has a dragon. I cannot promise to make you happy. But I ask you, make, make this, this sacrifice willingly. For all of us. <sighs> you gotta feel worthless being in a family with a dragon riders and you not one. Leave me your daddy a dragon rider. Look at him on the rest. Mama was a dragon rider. Sister a dragon rider. The new baby brother's dragon rider. It's like I'm <laughs> Heron Hall. Oh, I know they sick of dragons. But <laughs> they having flashbacks to Valerian Aegon all over again. They wasn't even alive in that era. <laughs> Chris Diamond has landed. Got dark sister out. He taking the castle solo. <laughs> this him Karasis. This was probably gonna be a beautiful castle if they got never burnt it. <laughs> Heron Hall is spooky than a motherfucker. <laughs>
those house strong banners or another extinct house that lived here <laughs> On this cheese and cues. Check your walkie, crash, come in. You see anything? <laughs> How do you just attack? <laughs> Family dinner? Oh, this is gonna be messy. Y'all hear a dragon landing on y'all stuff? <laughs> gotta, gotta give it to him. You got some heart walking up on Damon right now. Are oh, you bent in me? Shame to let it waste. This guy's be the most nervous dinner ever. <laughs> I've survived for many of Do you not think it's strange that his father, my nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire, and his son too, here in this damp place? It was the first fire here since Balerion ended the line of Harrow and the Black. Oh Even my. Even so, we struggled to light the hearts. So no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Your grace. Forgive me, I, I, um... You better, you better watch your tongue. <laughs> your grace. Mm -hmm. Good now, sauce. That's how you, that's how you put that glaze on there. <laughs> What, not to be argumentative, in something of a state of disrepair, since your forebear incinerated much of it with his dragon. Well, that is precisely why we must bring it into a state of repair. <laughs> that's the there are 40,000 swords in the Riverlands, the largest undeclared host in the realm. Only Harrenhal is of a size enough to garrison them. Houses Bracken and Blackwood have long detested one another. Why? Oh, well. They're Brackens and Blackwoods, that's why. The answer to that is <laughs> lost in time. Sin. This is the Crips and Bloods of Westeros. <laughs> as long as you think it's peaceful, somebody just drop the diss track. We march on King's Landing and take the throne. The throne? Yeah, what do you think we're fighting for? It's a big chair made of sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's a squire. Lord Commander, your host is mustered and ready to march. He's gonna ride out. May I present my brother, Sir Gwen Hightower? Arrived last night from Altan. Sir Kristen. Mayhaps, I should say. My Lord Han. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was looking at. <laughs> Your grace. Ah, oh, yeah, he's gonna murder. He's gonna murder about a thousand today. <laughs> Going to war for that coach. Yeah. yeah, that's what he deserves. That's the raven's feast on that corpse. We riding out the battle. The value of a sword is not within its scabbard. We will secure victory with armies, not with dragons alone. Randy's like, you better shut the fuck. Well, we remain here as a source of distraction for the enemy. He proposed to conduct the war in my absence. It, it would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. They were ready to burn everything to down. Further. This council would do well to remember that their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, a prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other, even Aegon the Conqueror's. Um, no, right news. Did y'all forget y'all history? You gotta feel for the girl. Like, come on. <laughs> be safe enough. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great service. Ain't no sweet talking out of this. These eggs. This is their final goodbye. We'll never know. Well, we will know. <laughs> I feel sad about Jaharis. But I ought not to, I think. His people die all the time. Grieve how you want to grieve, Elena. I, I forgive you. For what? 
No, she felt guilty for keeping Sir Christian distracted during that event. How did y'all get white clothes? What is going on? I was given the Conqueror's name and his crown, so I shall wear his armor to war. That's a guy's armor. Sir Christian. Plus, I'm persuaded to fly to war with Sir Christian, so the Queen Alison may reign in his absence. With Prince Aemond at her side. He is such a snake. <laughs> Matters little. You looking at the man who's playing these lies. <laughs> what tend to them then? You just give him the green light to torture somebody for no reason. My father always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. And yet, I find myself wanting for one. I should be glad of your talents. You honor me, your grace. Ah, you moving on up. <laughs> I, I can't stand. Shall we escort you to the dragon pit, <laughs> your grace? I think mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Come out with us, my king. He's never fucked a woman. Are you sworn to chastity now? <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens when you get your best friends as your king guard. <laughs> Lead bottom. Off, oh, you mother. They finna get towed up. Off that oil. Who was your grandson? They call him the conciliator. King Jaharis. Now, who is your father? Balon? I'm the son of Balon the Bull. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it on my top of my head. <laughs> he speaks truth right enough. Look, you can tell by his hair. Yeah, because I'm their half brother, you yeah, yeah. fuck wits. Oh, right, right. yeah, I'll tell you who else doesn't. Yes, I am a bastard. The right. Are you gone? All hail the king! All hail! Drinks for all! At the pleasure of the crown! Yes! You can't be out here on Fleet Bottom Party and you're a king! Damon Allen is the king of Fleet Bottom! What's going on? Y'all yeah, want to be like y'all uncle so bad. God, hey God! I know, just the Jesus of you, my boy. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms! Oh wow, I knew it. Nobody can keep him in check. Once I know it's gone, it's over with. He is off the leash. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and yet you still lie with your very first. <laughs> what a fine. Oh, he, he gonna beat your ass, Aegon. You better Did shut you up. Like Wait, our company has come back yonder. Mm. On the cold, hard ground. Which is why we make for the bull. A tavern with an excellent reputation on the Rosby Road, not two miles away from memory serves. We, we will rendezvous with your army at first light. Or if their wine is good, perhaps a little after first light. He like, hold on, is that a dragon? We're exposed. What? Get to the tree! Who is that, Baylor? Oh shit, Jack. <laughs> Moon dancing. Baylor, you were just supposed to stay in the sky, Baylor. Y'all are all so hot headed. <laughs> She's gonna burn them alive. That's a fast dragon, too. It's like smaller. Set that tree line to blaze. I just started burning the trees. I don't care. <laughs> we'll plant some more in this wall, boy. He is crying. He is crying. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you know his pants for the doo doo. Oh, she was ready to toast him. Some half dozen other nights, I'm sure of it. Perhaps a scout party for a greater army. The Ravens confirm it, Your Grace. Lord Fang has reported a larger force. Moving north okay, that makes sense. They just a scouting party? I don't know why the Lord Commander was going to scouting party though, okay. <laughs> it was not so. Oh, you must 
Act now, Your Grace. Loose the dragon's root coal out and burn him. <sighs> Is it gonna work? This is your decision right now. You the queen. I have heard your arguments. And we'll consider them. Okay, yeah, okay. Sleep on it. We're gonna need a real answer tomorrow though. Who was that? Who was that? Yeah, it's time to grab Dark Sister. Crashes, where you at? <laughs> Is it a guard here trying to be tough? You know, hair hall, no, man. Very mysterious. And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh, my. Wait a minute. This is dark as fuck. What the? F is he about to wear wood? How did you end up there? You will die in this place. Who is you? <laughs> what do you know of the movements of Alicent Hightower? Would you take her hostage? Or kill her. I would speak with her myself. Killing her would be easier. If war can be averted, it is my duty to avert it. Right now, uh, I may be of the same opinion. War is, war is happening She's right now. War is happening. You just need to mount up at this point. So I make my way to the Red Keep, I presume, and ring the bell. Or do I scale the wall and enter her window? There is one How are you taking this risk? <laughs> outside. You got Damon's cloak. At least get Damon's cloak. <laughs> that cloak is like a hundred percent power. Like you can go anywhere. That's like that um Lord of the Rings uh, cloak. You come invisible, just blend in with where you at. Nah, that ain't Damon's cloak. From the Kings guard with. Him. So Stephanie, hope you got it on him. At the great set right now? Yeah, the great set. Okay. Hopefully these the new guys and they don't know one of their brothers. Former brothers. <laughs> Talking about the King's Guard, there he is. Mm, you got something on this shit. Like she's seen a ghost. Your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. Then not before I killed you. Yeah, what type of plan was this? <laughs> As before all gathered in that room that you would make a fine queen. Do you think me capable of such naked deceit? <laughs> Coming here is just so unnecessary. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. What? I desire peace as you do, but to possess Did my father use those words? The prince that was promised. Yes, he did. Okay, now this is interesting. <laughs> Maybe y'all get to the bottom of this. Spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. We said the what now? <laughs> About Egon the Conqueror. The, the Conqueror. Yeah, you see how you made that big mistake? Listen to a dying man on his deathbed that have been heavily medicated. <laughs> you must go before you are discovered. There's been a mistake. There's been no mistake. Please. <sighs> you can prevent this, Alison. There's a been no mistake. My father has gone from court. Court is on the march, Eamon. You know what Eamon is? So I can't stop him at this point. There was no point in coming here. Oh, this is so risky and pointless. <laughs> this episode was okay. Not their best episode, in my opinion. Um, it was going pretty good towards the end. I will explain why towards the end. Uh, but um, 
it was basically another episode just setting up what the war is like now telling you like who are in these new positions who is these new king's guard who are the people that's been going to be the first people to make contact in the war and the, some of the first people that's going to go out there on the march and things like that and we got it in the beginning with um the brackens and the blackwoods always always for years for centuries them there at each other's throats it's uh, it's a rivalry that can't be ended i don't, I don't even think in the new books that it will be ended but uh <laughs> Other than that, we also seen Sir Christian, him going out on the march. I don't think he's, I think he said in season one that he may have been in a few invasions type things, like on the Darnish marches, because like his household is like so close from there type thing. So he always fighting with the people that, you know, he boarding with type things. But other than that, this is kind of like his real first battle, leading a battle like that. And um, we haven't seen any fighting from him yet, but him leading people, it seems like he's doing pretty good so far. Um, Allison Brothers is kind of like a jerk-off jerk type character. And hopefully he don't get some innocent people hurt and things like that because you know they will just making dumb decisions like he almost did then just stopping in the middle of an open field where it's dragons in the air you don't know where they're coming from when they coming so i was happy to see that sir christian after making so many stupid decisions in the like last episode things like that it was happy to see they finally made a smart decision telling everybody to make for the tree line and to get covered and realizing that he has made a mistake and they made a mistake and being out in the open. I like that from him. Um, just because he can make dumb decisions like ascending an assassination on the queen right near her. I like to see that he's also can make smart decisions as a warrior and lead battles and know what he's doing in the field that's what he's best at he's just a soldier let's put it like that um also my favorite part of the episodes was mostly damon <laughs> at heron hall sneaking around um just running off a whole garrison just him by himself with her asses. uh i don't know who who is he gonna join up with maybe some of the closest houses near um he said he was gonna go make the totally submit and that's the best way to start it off you want to get the the um the high lord the uh head lord how you want to put it you want to get him first and all the lower lords and things like that they will submit um but I also, like I said, towards the end, I did not like Rhaenyra making the decision to try to go talk to Allison. It was too risky. It was a dumb decision. If you had a hand of the king at your side and you told him you wanted to do this, they would have told you this is dumb. Why would why would you do this? Even Mazaria, she's kind of like a master of whispers type character. Um, she can find out any info and how to get you in certain situations. But even she told Rayneva, "This is dumb. You might not want want to do this." Um, I don't know who to blame Rayneva or the show for this. Um, but if they wanted right near to look like a dummy making dumb decisions this was the best way to do it because she made a dumb decision um out of all places why would you go to kane's landing where where war is at its height i'm pretty sure most of these people know 
what Rhaenyra look like than what she know what they look like. You're going to know a princess if that's the most famous person or a queen, if that's the most famous person of this time and of this era and of this universe. They are like celebrities. They are a fame. So still, a dumb decision. I didn't like it. I just got to call them out on that. It's been a good season so far, but that was just a stupid decision. Um, hopefully next season, well, next episode, we can pull it back together and get one of these battles, we almost at the edge of it. We seen Baylor flying down on they, on they whole ass. But <laughs> other than that, besides, I think Damon taking out a guard. That's maybe the only thing we got in this episode. But fighting in contact. Don't get me wrong. I love the dialogue and things like that. But this is a war and. If you read the books, you know a lot of battles has happened. We just skipped over a battle, kind of. And at the beginning, this was the Battle of the Burning Meal. We saw the aftermath. We kind of saw the beginning. And, yeah, uh, I wish we could have kind of saw that. That would have made that episode real interesting instead of seeing that ending. But, hey, I understand they got to save on budget and things like that. But hopefully next week we can get some fighting, some battles. That's what I need. <laughs> But thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, please subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. It's only five dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Up the lazy river with a robin song. Wakes a bright new morning, we can loaf along.